Hey, what is up nation? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and use scenes in SketchUp. I downloaded this 3D model from the 3D warehouse. Uh, it was made by Paul Waugh, so thanks very much for your awesome model. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a, a few scenes in this model. And so to do that, we're going to go to Window, Default Tray, Show Tray, to bring up this tray here. Now we're going to close Styles and Open Scenes. Um, and so you can see in here, uh, there's a little plus here for Add Scene, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to Save as New Style. So we have scene up here, it's called scene one. So your scenes will show up uh, as tabs. They will also show up in your scene uh, window over here. So I'm gonna change this to outside entry. And then you can see under here, um, you can include it in an animation. Um, so it'll run through um, your, your scenes and sort of like, um, zoom to the different views so you can do that and then there are different properties to save um, for this I'm gonna leave these all the same um, so that they're all checked but the last sort of window that we'll make or the scene we'll make will be a working scene and I'll show you sort of what you might use that for and how you might change some of the settings in here okay so we changed the outside entry and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a camera um, I'm gonna position a camera so this is essentially like if you were a person standing here so it's gonna put that at head height and then you can see an eye pops up so I can click and hold sort of change the view so I'm gonna move this tray off to my other window that you can't see uh, and then I'm gonna bring it back so you can see everything and now what I'm gonna do is right click on this and hit update scene to save that view and it's gonna ask what properties do I want to update? I want to update all of them. Okay, so we have one scene here. Now, I'm not sure exactly what's in here um, in this view, but I'm going to make another scene and then go back to the camera and I'm going to do walk here. So essentially this will let you walk around your model. So I'm just going to left click and go in. I'm going to go through this door. I'm just going to see what's in here it won't let me in there let me in um, so I guess walking you'll have obstructions so avoid that and let's say we want to see this kitchen so I'm using the pan tool over here just trying to get into this okay I'm gonna go back to camera look around that's that eye that we had before And I'm going to walk back a little bit. And you can see down here in the uh, bottom right, there's a thing that says eye height. So it's about five feet, uh, four foot eight. Um, so that's just, you know, if you want to change the way that, um, change how high the person is. So for instance, if I want to be six foot, um, you change that and it lifts the camera up. Um, so I want to be able to see some of this balcony. It's kind of cool. I'm going to change the look around and just look up a little bit. Uh, it's kind of a shame that we're smushed. But um, so just get that edge. So I like that. I'm going to right click and hit update scene here. So if we go back. I double click on this you can see that it gets that sort of zooming um, between the two and I'd like jump through the building uh, but that's sort of you know what it is so that's sort of the basics behind scenes uh, you can do this as many times as you want now the last one that I'm going to show you is uh, let's say this is a working scene so one of the things that I teach in one of my other videos is that your style can drastically impede uh, your workflow um, by having textures and lots of lines, if you have hidden uh, geometry shown, uh, things like that, um, it'll drastically slow down your workflow because uh, it bogs down your computer. So what I like to do is I always sort of make a working scene. 
Uh, and that allows me to have a scene that is sort of very generic that I can see what's going on, but I don't have to see all the textures and uh, shadows and things like that. So uh, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go to uh, styles and I'm gonna just select a default style. So default styles here. And what I'm gonna do is uh, you see these little stopwatches. And uh, if you click those, uh, basically those, those ones with the green stopwatches mean that, that they'll make your they're faster, um, so they recommend them for working. Um, so I like this one. Uh, it doesn't have any shadows, but it shows me what's going on and I can edit. So what I'm going to do up here is right click, hit update scene. It's going to save all of that stuff. But one thing that doesn't really matter for what I'm doing is the camera location. Um, I want to be able to toggle this wherever I am and it not go back to this view. So I'm going to click off uh, camera location. I'm going to click off all of this stuff except for the um, I want to save the shadow settings the axes style and fog I want to keep and the axes location doesn't really matter so I'm going to update this again now what will happen like let's say I, I come into this view I can now select working and it'll change that it won't go back to that original view and I can do that from anywhere so let's say I go back to this and um, I'm working on my model and I'm back here and it's being kind of slow so I just click working and now I have this um, view that is set up for me to work quickly thanks so much for watching if this video was helpful for you please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your friends and as always happy hacking all right, designers, just because this episode of Designer Hacks is over doesn't mean we're leaving you out in the cold. Tony's got tons of great content available at designerhacks.com. So join Design Nation right now, and we'll see you on the next episode of Designer Hacks.